welcome back to Blossom Dew. We are going to be villager hunting today. Stella asked to leave. Um, sad for Louis, his girlfriend's leaving, but um, we're going to be hunting um, kind of like the first real. Oh, wait, there's an orchid mantis. Hold, please. Anyway, so. Um, I'm not 100% sure who we're looking for today. I'll put up a picture of the villagers that I'm like kind of thinking of. I was originally thinking like blue, white, pink kind of villagers, but I also had the thought, which somebody reminded me of, that because there was going to be so much waterscaping, I was thinking maybe like frogs and ducks would be good as well. So maybe like kind of watery villagers, but maybe also like blue, white, and pink. So I'm kind of like on the fence as to which like which way I'm gonna go with the villagers, or maybe I just do both, I'm not sure. So I already have Rosie, Gabby, Chai, Sky, and Jeremiah from this list. And, um, ooh, Money Rock Island. Um, oh, it's Tybalt. And I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna keep Gabby. I just, I felt like I had to take her because I found her on a hunt after spending like hundreds of tickets looking for her. Um, on Rainbow Fish during Vlogmas. So I'm not 100% that I'm gonna keep her. I'm at least gonna keep her for a little bit, but I have had her before and she's still currently on Rainbow Fish and she's never leaving Rainbow Fish. So I wouldn't feel terrible if I let her go. Because I have Sky, I'm not like super attached to the idea of Whitney, um, just because I don't know that I want two wolves, even though I'm definitely gonna have like multiple cats. Um, and I'm not, I don't know 100% about Lolly either. I think I will end up keeping Jeremiah just because of the whole water thing. Like that was the original original thought that I had and then I forgot but pom-pom could be a good addition because she's a duck and I feel like she's is there a pink duck oh it's Miranda <laughs> we don't like her <laughs> I was thinking maybe I'd switch Sherb for Jeremiah but I think I actually might keep Jeremiah because you know he'll be surrounded by puddles <laughs> could do puddles she's a pink frog but she looks like she's underwear on her head and she's just not my fave <laughs> Ketchup is so cute. I like literally can't stand how adorable she is. She was one of my first dreamies and I was so sad when I finally decided to let her go. I was like inconsolable. <laughs> oh my God, she's so precious. She doesn't match the theme at all, but if she did even a little bit, I would take her in a heartbeat because she's just so cute. Like. Oh, she's just too stinking cute. There aren't a lot of pink villagers that, um, oh, you know who's not on this list that I was thinking of? Cookie, the pink dog. She's like the perfect pink because a lot of the pink villagers are like really bright pink and they're just like, it's not really the pink vibe on Blossom Dew. But like, I think Gala is a pretty pink and she's cute, the little flower, but I need to add Cookie to the list. She could be good. I have 30 tickets in my pocket, so we're just gonna kind of see what we get. If we don't find anybody, we'll either let it autofill or, you know, just take whoever's on the last ticket because we're not really in a rush. Oh, it's Canberra. I can already see not going up there. I didn't really have a particularly good opinion of her before, but then she took forever to leave my island after autofilling um, uh, during Vlogmas. I spent hours trying to get her to leave. It would be cute to have like a little, like if I got Tipper and Gala to have like a little farm area with both of them. I think that would be cute. Like kind of a watery farm. So kind of like with the like water in between each like patch of crops, like for irrigation. I did that, I think on the first farm I ever did after we got like crops. It does take up a lot of space though. Oh, Wade, he's cool. I mean, not Wade, that's cute. So we definitely have Rosie, Chai, Sky, and Jeremiah that we have already and that are definitely staying. So that's four. I'm kind of attached to the Tippa and Gala idea now that I've said it. <laughs> that would be six. And that would leave three more. We could maybe do Pom Pom. Oh wait, Mitzi's not on here. Dang, Mitzi's staying too. So that's five, six, seven. Oh, I'm gonna get some spring bamboo actually while I'm here. Boon. Okay, so here's an updated picture. So Rosie, Chai, Sky, Jeremiah, and Mitzi are who I already have. So that's five. And then potentially could get Gala and Tipper. That would be seven. And that will leave three spots for somebody. Could be Cookie. I think I'm leaning more towards like Cookie 
pom pom. And I don't know for that last one. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, not Kevin. Never that. <laughs> oh my god, of course, the first one. I'm gonna try and find a furniture item, maybe. <laughs> Jeremiah would be the only boy. Um, unless I brought Sherb, too. <laughs> so maybe Sherb could be the last one. Oh, Ricky. <laughs> That's a no. What are other species that like the water? Frogs? Ducks? Uh, alligators? Allie would be perfect if she wasn't ugly. <laughs> oh, Maggie. She's so cute. But she's not the pig that I'm looking for. Or Wicked Center Taking. She was actually in my campsite the other day, I think. I think that was on this island. <laughs> Uh, what's her name? Oh yeah, Pango. Oh, Francine or Francine? I think that's Francine. She'd be perfect if I didn't really dislike her. <laughs> I just don't like her face. Ah, <laughs> Genji. Oh my gosh, I love him. He was like my original dreamy jock. Ugh. I love him so much. Look at his freaking pink cheeks and his little like toasted limbs, his little toasted hands and feet, and his little chocolate cotton tail. Oh my God. <sighs> he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. I just, I don't want regular bamboo anymore. I just want spring bamboo. <gasps> oh my God. Two of my OG dreamies in a row. This was the first big hunt that I went on, was looking for Kabuki, because I think I spent like over 250 tickets or something. It was like close to 300 when I'd only been playing for like a month. <laughs> it was dense. But look at like his hot pink like feet and tail tip. Oh my God, love him. I got these smart, sweet lollipops and I just tried one for the first time and it is not good. Like, their whole thing is like kick sugar, keep candy, and it's like one gram of sugar. There's a reason that there's sugar in lollipops, and it's because it makes them taste good. <laughs> so that's my anti-recommendation of the day. Oh wait, that's three of my original dreamies, because we found ketchup too. If we find Anka and Marshall, it's a wrap. <laughs> oh god. The opposite of an OG dreamy. An OG nemesis. <laughs> also, this lollipop is blue raspberry flavored, but it says it's naturally flavored. How do you naturally flavor a blue raspberry lollipop? Aw, Bianca. Okay, I can't finish this lollipop. It's really not nice. <laughs> and that's saying something because I have an intense sweet tooth. And for me to not finish a sweet, it's like, it must really not be doing anything for me. If you would like a candy recommendation instead of an anti-recommendation, my friend started making candy and I'll link her Etsy shop in the description below if you're interested. I had the sweet cinnamon hearts today and they were so good. And like the size of the heart candy is just like so satisfying because it's like big and chunky. So they like last a long time. You don't just like immediately crunch it, but she has the like candy hearts and then like old fashioned hard candy, but it's really good. So I'll link that below. I don't know if she ships outside of the States, but if you're in the United States, you should be able to get them body no particular opinions about her oh my gosh i have such a knack for picking the wasp tree first every time so halfway through we found lots of good ones just not the ones we're looking for oh i can already see it's um pierce you know he kind of fits the theme but i really don't like the eagles <laughs> Oh, speaking of the Eagles, when I'm filming this, tomorrow is the Super Bowl. Wonder how that's gonna go. You can let me know in the comments because I probably won't watch it. <gasps> it's Tutu. She's on the list because I feel like she matches the theme, but I have had her before, but oh my God, I love her. You know what? I would take her, but to be honest, there's a lot of peppies on the island right now <laughs> because there's Rosie, and Chai are both peppy. And then, and Gabby is peppy. If we got Cookie, Cookie is peppy as well. Uh, what's Gala, is she normal? I would definitely consider taking Tutu, except for the overwhelming amount of peppies 
that that would leave us with. But I love Tutu. Nope. Oh no. I never noticed his little blue tail though. That's kind of cute. And I do like his gold horn. I just wish that he didn't have that weird hair brain on the back of his head. <laughs> like, look at that. Ooh. I won't tell you what I actually think it looks like because <laughs> I'll spare you the image. I feel like Sprinkle could be a potential as well if you're thinking about like water villagers. Because penguins kind of live in water. They swim a lot. <laughs> and she's like the right color. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I saw someone's pink head. Paolo. <laughs> He's very pink. He's kind of cute though, but he's a little bit too hot pink for Blossom Dew. Who's up here? Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Not worth the wait. Okay, we got eight tickets left. Naturally, it's very late at night. So if I don't find anyone in the eight tickets, I'm gonna let it autofill or just take whoever's on the last island, whichever seems more exciting in the moment. <laughs> of course I see like, cows on every single hunt except for when i'm actually maybe looking for one because i'm like i said now that i've said it out loud kind of attached to the idea of gala and tippa oh my god every time i say gala and then i want to say tippa gala and tipper <laughs> having a little farm drago not a cow even though to be honest the cows and alligators like kind of have a little bit of a similar look to them hot take <laughs> Run. The way Wilbur is just not concerned with the swarm of angry wasps it really gets me every time. Nope. Did you see him? I saw him. Not even gonna check for DIY bottles. Oh, Shep. He's kind of cute. Especially when he has like his little shocked face and like his eye pops out from under his hair. Very cute. Oh, I think that is Claude. He's kind of cute. Okay, it's decision time. We've got four tickets left, so time to get real, real. Oh, Keaton. Another blue eagle. Oh, bubbles. Okay, two tickets left. <laughs> Either taking who's on this island or the next one. Chicken. Okay, should we take whoever's on this island or should we let it autofill? I think we should just commit to taking whoever's here. Okay. Oh, it's Igly. He's not so bad. It could definitely be worse. <laughs> I'm gonna take him. He won't stay, of course, but. <laughs> Louie needs a friend to train with, or maybe Igly will scare Louie off and he'll finally leave. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. And if you want to keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. Until next time, I'll see you later.